So, um, you know, the, the plan is an economic transformation plan. Um, it's, um, well, should I say, subset of the Nigeria Agenda 2050. Uh, and as is with plans, you know, you have an overarching plan, and then you'd have, you know, um, many plans over a medium term period to implement, um, which would tell you how you are doing against the plans. Now, um, it is, you know, um, in terms of the Nigeria Agenda 2050, it's a really good um, agenda. Um, and, but again, with experience, if we look back at, we had Vision 2020, which looked to place Nigeria in the top 20 countries in the world. And we, uh, we kind of, you know, looked at, you know, where did we fall short, you know, in terms of that. Uh, so um, when, we, when we looked at the gaps in that plan, we brought that in into the National Development Plan, which is a medium-term plan, again. Um, my, my, my own core focus is about implementation because this is where we've traditionally fallen down in Nigeria. Um, and this has been based on you know, no proper monitoring and evaluation, um, not having determined breaks where we do a rain check on you know, progress against the plans and then you know, retweaking the plan um, in terms of you know, um, achieving the objectives. You know, so again, um, on paper, it is a great plan, but it's going to be about implementation and you know some of the top you know issues that you know have impacted plans in the past in Nigeria has been you know the lack of policy continuity when we have a change of administration um, the new administration has their own ideas about you know transforming plans so um, it will be really interesting you know um, on the um, the incoming ad administration to see you know how um, they continue with this plan because I think that you know. Um, a lot of effort has gone into this plan. It's a really good plan on play paper. It's just about us getting serious about implementation, monitoring and um, evaluation, matching this plan to proper programs and um, projects within the various ministries, departments, and agencies who will be implementing aspects of this plan. Um, also, you know, improving the enabling environment to attract foreign investment. If we're saying that 85% of 348 trillion is expected to come from the private sector, it means that you know, we have to put in place the enabling environment and the appropriate structures to bring this investment into Nigeria. Then there's the issue of overlapping policies, which you know, um, sometimes stalls project progress. Um, you know, even recently, you know, there, there have been a number of you know complaints from various ministries and departments and agencies that we engage with, you know, in some of our consultancy work um, about overlapping policies, and, and this, you know, creates an issue because it creates tough words and stalls progress in the area of various projects. So, um, if we can resolve some of these high-level, you know, issues under the coming administration, and there's that core focus to monitor progress against the plans, review where we are, and, you know, I mean, I, I think at this point, at 2023, there should be a full mid-term review of the plan, and then, you know, we can re-strategize where we are falling short against the plan. Well, the, the, the current administration's time is almost elapsing. Uh, so it's obvious that you are concerned with uh, the matter of implementation and to measure how far we have come with regards to the implementation of this plan. So what would then be your advice to the incoming administration with regards to all of these plans? Because uh, the president had advised the incoming president-elect to look at implementing these plans? So, I mean, my own suggestion would be to um, sort of take a step back and look at progress against this plan. You know, so um, I would recommend that the incoming administration pull together a team um, to review progress against the plan because, you know, we're midway through the plan. We need to understand where we are. And then that would lead to um, a re-strategizing in the area of policies or plans where we have come short um, since 2021 to now 2023. Um, the plan has a lot of really great elements that I believe that, you know, with a little bit of incremental push in terms of the area of, you know, governance, in terms of the area of, um, you know, um, regional development in terms of the area of social inclusion 
Um, these are the core elements that I think that if um, the incoming administration fo focuses on, um, there's, there's no need to reinvent the wheel. The plan is a really good plan, um, but again, it's just to focus on implementation and put together you know, an adequate team that understands the challenges that we faced in the past and also understands you know, um, the core issues that are you know, sort of typical in terms of the culture in Nigeria. And then we can focus on uh, moving ahead and you know, um, following through with the plans and programs. I would also recommend that the current administration looks to tie in proper projects that will deliver the best value for Nigeria and ensure that those are locked in and um, focused on by the various implementing agencies. All right, Dio, the 195-page the document is well intelligently articulated. But let, let's talk about some of the items there. The, the, the agenda for poverty reduction, for instance, has a plan to take about 35 million people out of poverty by 2025 and also create about 21 million new jobs by 2025. 2025 is just two years away from where we are right now. I wonder what strategy is there to be able to achieve this in real terms, even if government decides to pour all the monies into reducing poverty. What's the strategy? Um, so, so the plan has this clear strategies on, you know, um, how he wants to, you know, sort of, um, you know, reduce poverty, you know, and create jobs, which is by attracting, you know, investment into um, certain sectors that have been identified as core or strategic sectors. Um, but again, you know, um, as I said, you know, I will not speak officially on behalf of the Federal Ministry of Budget and National Planning because I'm not a staff of the Federal Ministry of Budget and National Planning. However, you know, um, what will be important is to get, you know, um, real progress from the Federal Ministry of Budget and National Planning, and then we'd be able to sit down and do an assessment in terms of progress. Um, but in terms of, you know, some of the, the, um, the objectives of the plan in terms of, you know, creating jobs, there, there are clear defined strategies, which is, you know, to increase, you know, investment, you know, from the private sector and from government. Um, you know, those six areas that were mentioned at the start of the, you know, the discussion um, will cover a lot of those, you know, and um, on paper, it's a great plan. The analysis was done in terms of um, the, the number of people we want to raise. But again, um, one of my biggest concerns has been that, you know, when we do plans in Nigeria, um, they're based on estimates of population. You know, um, I know uh, we were scheduled to do um, a census, you know, um, in, in the last month. However, that has been postponed. Um, but, it, but it's really important and it's critical that when the new administration comes in, we understand how many people are in this country. Who are we planning for? Currently, we, we base our planning on estimates from like the World Bank and some of these international agencies. Um, you know, data, um, the depth of data is a real big issue for us. So sometimes it feels like when we're making plans, we're making these plans up in the air without actual data that we have gathered, you know, um, in terms of how many people are really planning for. Now, one of the challenges I have is we have various um, identification schemes that have been developed in the last couple of years by government. We have the BVN from CBN, which is purely financial. Um, we have the recent NIN, um, you know, and, and I think also with the recent um, elections, and, you know, the INEC beavers, some of this can be leveraged in terms of, you know, um, doing a population census and understanding how many of us are really in this country and to ensure that everybody has a face. Because, you know, currently you have, um, you know, the World Bank estimates, you know, that um, uh, about, you know, more than 90% of our current population is living below the poverty line. Um, but we ourselves need to do that review and understand how many people are in this country and, you know, um, and then adjust our plans accordingly. Right. Now, we have a huge debt burden and uh, we even had to borrow mon monies to fund our budget. Do you see funding as a major challenge with regards to implementation of some of this, uh, uh, this development plan? 
Um, so, I mean, again, the, the, the plan estimates that about 8 or 5% of the investment will come from the private sector. Now, in terms of our debt body, you know, the DMO, according to the DMO, I think we currently stand at about $103 uh, billion, which is, you know, um, within the acceptable, you know, IMF um, estimates of, I think, about 30% 30, 30 of total GDP. So, um, for me to be honest, you know, um, I'm not overly concerned about our debt body. Um, what I'm more concerned about is what we actually use, whatever funding we have for and ensuring that that brings the best value for money for Nigerians. Um, I think if we tighten up our, our, our strings of our pants you know, and focus on you know, actually ensuring that projects are seen through, I mean in terms of the current administration, there's been a lot of progress because the focus was more on delivering ongoing projects that have been on our national budgets uh, for a number of years and ensuring that we're getting those off. Now, again, you know, um, one of the recommendations that I would put forward, you know, as a policy analyst um, to the incoming administration is to focus on getting a lot of these ongoing projects, again, off the budgets before we start to add new ones. Because one of the key issues we have is that year in, year out, we're adding new projects to the budget and, um, you know, we're carrying over projects that have been, you know, in various ministries, departments and agencies' budgets for the last 10, um, 15 years. So yes, focusing on actually ensuring that the projects are done um, within scope, um, ensuring volume for money for the average Nigerian. All right, and that's a fine place to leave the conversation. Dio Alao, policy analyst, uh, member National Development Plan 2021-2025. Thank you for your time on the program. Thank you so much.